We'd like to say good morning to everybody this morning. Uh, had to do a little setting up here at the church. We got some work going on in the sanctuary, so we kind of set up in the hall. So if there's any echo, we apologize. Hey. Uh, hey. Well, we're going to try to get started with this week's lesson. The lesson scriptures out of Jeremiah chapter 23, verses 1 through 8. The title of the lesson this week is The, the Righteous Branch. Um, the facts, you know, the, the today's facts is to confirm that God is the control, is in control of all things, including yes. people that have highest levels of leadership. The principle is to teach that God demands that those in leadership submit to his ultimate authority and not act independently of him. So we're going to try to get into the scripture here a little bit. Uh, I, I do ask that y'all pray for me. This is a, this here's a lesson that uh, kind of brings out some things this week. Uh, you know, folks say that some of my friends say that when they watch me, I uh, seem pretty nervous trying to teach, and in fact, I am. There's a reason for that. Amen. Uh, we're going to try to bring that out this week in this week's lesson. Bless our heart. Uh, Bless him, Lord. So, we're going to get going here. So, Verse 23 and 1 says, Woe be unto the pastures that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. Now, that's... that's that the first pastor was our, our pastor here at the church and other churches, and the second one was out in the field. Right said the Lord. Yes. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith the Lord. All right, so in them couple of verses there, it's talking about like a ne ne negligent shepherds. All right, and this section begins with a direct word from the Lord against the pastures that destroy and scatter the sheep of his pasture. Uh, and, and it's talking about those that are not leading their flock. They're not leading as shepherds. Bless uh, the Lord. But who are the shepherds uh, that arouse the Lord's ignitation? In the, in the ancient Near East, shepherds was a common designation for a king. When David speaks of the Lord as his shepherd, he was acknowledging him as king. Uh, we've heard in Psalms, you know, the Lord be my shepherd in Psalms yes. 3 and 1. Uh, David himself had been a shepherd as a young boy. We all know that story. And he continued the tradition of shepherd leadership when he became king. Yes. Uh, in Israel, however, the idea of shepherding was extended beyond monarch to leaders, spiritual, priests, Levites, and prophets. Touching. Our view here as well as civil civil leaders, the spiritual leaders exceptionally were charged with the responsibility of leading the people on the right paths and keeping, the keeping them safe spiritually, encouraging united, unity. Yes. But instead uh, of faithful in doing their duties, Jewish leaders were destroying and scattering the flock. They were doing the work of people people's enemies, wolves, lions, robbers, than protecting against those enemies. And, and you know, that's what he's saying in those times. Uh, their leaders that were leading then was not leading in the way that the Lord would have them to. They wasn't trying to seek the Lord's guidance in anything that they was doing. Uh, Rob, you know, it, they was acting like robbers and the adulterers got real bad. And in Jeremiah 23 and 2, the Lord repeats his accusation that Judah's leaders have scattered and driven his flock. 
The shepherds have not visited the people, therefore would be, he would visit them with evil. He would bestow judgment and punishment on them. Perhaps. You know, and that's what we talked about last few weeks. You know, we've got to live the life for the Lord because he will deal with us. Uh, we talked about, I want to say, it was last week where um, the Lord will chastise us when we do not try to do right or when we intentionally do wrong, you might say. Yeah, that's um, He will deal with us. Yes, I You am. know, so it goes back to what I was trying to say a while ago. Uh, people say that I look nervous. Well, I am. Yes. I am, uh, there's a reason because that's I don't right. want to be misleading. Uh, I want to do what God will have me to do. Uh, and it's a scary thing to know that I'm, you know, people look to me and they want me to try to help them in different ways. And uh, it, if I don't get myself where I need to be, then I might lead them astray. And then so, what does it say? He would bestow judgment and punishment on them. Well, uh, I would like to lead in the right way to where I don't get chastised. Be so, fair with you. Uh, verse 3 and 4 talks about it. It says, uh, And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of the out of all countries, whither I have driven them, and I will bring them again to their folds, and they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will set up shepherds over them, which shall feed them, <clears throat> and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. Now, that section is talking about the new shepherd. And nice the, uh, the Lord had no more, excuse me, the Lord had more than just words yes. to con condemnation for his irresponsible shepherds. He followed immediately with a promise to personally gather the remnant of his flock from all the countries to which he had driven them in judgment. And he would make the prom uh, he would make them prosperous and increase their numbers. In place of del del delinquent leaders he who had failed his people, God would raise up the new shepherds. Bless him. These would be faithful leaders who would care for, mean feed God's flock that would no longer have reason to fear or distress. God is still raising up shepherds today to lead his flock, the church, and, his, and he still upholds the same high standards for the shepherd. It should be noted that these people apply all who exercise the function such as leadership, whether or not you hold an official title as a pastor or elder. According to Ephesians 4, 11 and 12, pastors and teachers are given to the church. The primary responsibility is to faithfully teach the word of God so that all the saints can grow up the Lord ensuring that the body of Christ is healthy and fruitful, bringing glory to him. Obviously, this will not happen if those who are called to these leadership roles are ne neglecting their duties. Now, on that, you know, it says that there's teachers. You don't have to have that official title is what it's saying here. You know, Bless um, you. Here, here at our church, we got several teachers that teach Sunday school due to the situation being the way it is. You know what I mean? But we're not allowed to gather. Uh, you don't see it that way on this Blessing. phone thing. But, you know, Lord willing, when the doors open back up, I hope yeah. that a lot of y'all do get back in here. Everybody that's supposed to be here is here. And any of y'all that's watching, that may not be. I pray, Lord, that y'all come in and join with us. And we have teachers for every level. 
And I can promise you that the teachers that uh, they study the word, they try to teach you by the book. Every everything they teach comes out of the book. It don't. It ain't. You know, everybody's got their own way of looking at it. I know, but I promise you, everybody that teaches here the manual will study yes. the scripture and they yes. will teach you the best of their ability. Uh, and, and one of the things that's popped in my head this week while I've been trying to read and study is, uh, you know, we're all going to stand before that just God. We're all going to have to answer for our actions. And, uh, you know, I'll just say it like this because it's the truth. Uh, your salvation is a one-on-one -on -one experience with the Lord. Yes. And any preacher that's going to stand up there and tell you to repeat after me, you know, God's going to deal with him. That's I'm right. just going to leave it at that. Amen. I ain't going to hit on that too hard. Bless but you, that's what the scripture tells us. God's going to deal with him. Yes. Everybody will be having an answer for their doings. Finally, the greatest example of a shepherd, a shepherd leadership is Jesus himself, who gave Bless his you. own life for his sheep. God expects to see sacrificial service and those who are those he calls as leaders we've got to be using jesus as our example Touching. we've got to try to live christ's life yes. we have to be willing to sacrifice to help those uh you know and that's not to say that we we can hang on a cross to help others, but there's things we can do. We can yes. sacrifice from here to be able to help somebody here. Uh, whether it be monetary, whether it be going and helping them do something. You know, there's so Touching many ways them. you can help folks. You know, help them study with them. If they're yes. struggling, read with them and help them, help them help to open their eyes as to what the Word says. There's all kinds of ways that you can help. Uh, in That's verse cool. 5, uh, it says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto you, unto David, a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and he shall execute judgment and, and just on in the earth. In his days, Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. Yes. And this is his name, whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that they shall no more say, The Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth, which brought up the and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country and from all countries whither I had driven them and they shall dwell in their own land. Uh, it's talking about the coming shepherd king. Yeah. Uh, and Jeremiah 23 and 5, the Lord himself makes the identification of the branch expli ex explicit. Mm -hmm. A king shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and, and justice in the earth. The king will do this by the wisdom which, with which he rules. Uh, and down the line there, it talked about the promised wisdom of the king coming harks back to the wisdom of Solomon, the great Arab priest. And you know, we all know that story where Solomon, mm -hmm. you know, his prayer was to be just, his prayer was to be fair. And the Lord prom uh, prospered him for that. You know, he wasn't praying for riches and things of the world. He was praying to be a good, just person. Uh, yes. and, and the Lord blessed him abundantly for that. The Lord then promised a reunited, reun, reunited people under the wise benefits, uh, benef, I don't know, reign of his king. 
It will be a time of complete security and freedom from fear, want, and strife. Uh, the Lord wraps up with the promise about the Messiah King by giving us his name. All right, in verse 6, it tells us right there, it says, And this is his name whereby he shall be called the Lord of Righteousness. Yes. You know, I was reading that part right there, and it said that the Lord promises to reunite. Uh, or excuse me, right below that, it said, uh, It will be a time of complete security and freedom from fear, want, and strife. And, you know, I've told you all a few weeks ago that, I relate a lot of this to the songs what we sing and uh, Blessing, that one yes. there just made me think about there's coming a day yeah. when there's no more heartaches, no more pain. Uh, you know, that song got in my head a little bit when I was reading that one. Bless that one. Uh, Jesus who has give, been given the name above every other name and embodies perfectly the full meaning of the Lord of Righteousness. Mm -hmm. In Him, the glory of the Lord is revealed, and only in Him, listen to that, and only in mm -hmm. Him, yes. the sinful men uh, and women have any him. hope of seeing that, that glory and sharing in it. Under his reign, there will be complete peace and safety. By contrast, the deliverance pro promised in these verses will far surpass even the mighty deliverance of from Egypt. Yes. You know, we know that was a big thing back then. Uh, the Israel's being brought out from Egypt. You know, we studied on that. I don't know, it's been a while back. Yes. But, uh, you know that, and, and any of y'all that's been in the Bible, y'all know the whole story there. But it took a while, but they got out of there. You know, and uh, the more faithful it was, the better it worked for them. But it seemed like every time you turn around, they questioned and yeah. Moses back then about, <laughs> did your God bring us out here to die? Did you, yes. you know, and that wasn't the case. They, they, they kept losing that trust, you know, and the God, uh, the Lord kept them out there for a while where they would learn how to trust, you know, and that's yes. why we go through things. Yes. But, uh, I said all of the, <clears throat> all of this points un, under, I don't know that word either, to the future complete right. restoration under the reign of the Messiah King, we look forward to with anticipation and joy to this restoration at the return of our Savior. Jesus Christ, when he established his kingdom of peace and righteousness. Ain't that a day that we look forward to? Yes. Uh, you know, we all pray for our leaders now, but I dare say that there's so many leaders, and I'm not talking about spiritual leaders right now, I'm talking about in, the, in the government, you know. Uh, how many of them truly know our Lord? How many yeah. of them are seeking our Lord's guidance? You know what I mean? We see so much so much laws being passed right Bless now that, that go directly against the Bible. Uh, you know, and woe be to them because the Lord's mm. going to deal with every bit of that. Amen. And, and we know the scripture's got to be fulfilled, but I tell you what, we uh, we need to keep our focus on the Lord. We need to uh, do our Lord. part in trying to be that righteous branch. Yes. We have to, uh, we have to, we have to do our part to keep the body of Christ strong and healthy. We have to try to win them lost souls to the Lord while our time's left here because uh, that's, you know, if we don't do our part, then the Lord's going to deal with us. Yes. Uh, Amen. we got to study the Word. we got to, you know, don't wait for Sunday morning, excuse me, for me to try to stand up here and make a mess of a teaching. That's so hard. Or don't wait for Sunday morning for a pastor to get up here and preach. you got a Bible. Yes. Now, I dare say most everybody watching got a smartphone so they can get the Bible app for free. Yes, uh, you know, read, study, and witness. 
That's what we got to do. We got to, we got to be the good shepherd that we can be. We got to be willing to sacrifice our time to help others. Yes. Uh, I, I know this was scattered, and it's a scary lesson for me because Bless the Lord. You know, it, it it talks about what we got to do, and you know, as as trying to stand up here and be a teacher that I dare say that there's a lot more men at this church that can do a lot better job than me. Uh, but I do try to do my part. I just pray, Lord, that y'all get something out of it. I pray, Lord, and I can do Lord. my part. And I, I just ask that y'all, you know, continue to study yourselves. Don't, don't just take what I say and go with it. Find it out in your own way because we can all read something and have different views on it yes. but at the end of the day the word's going to stand yes. I love you and I'm going to turn it over to my pastor hey, bless you Lord. Lord we have a wonderful job Steve Jesus, amen. yeah come on wonderful job we, are. we got it <clears throat> on the way over here, I, I had this song on my heart and, and uh, asked, uh, I remember Steve was, we'd sang it while ago, just shortly. And, uh, but uh, you pray for us this morning. I hope and pray that this broadcast has found you well this morning. But Steve, done a wonderful job. It's a tough lesson. Uh, uh, that, that righteous branch is uh, it's tough. To, to, sometimes we find ourselves trying to, we, we belittle ourselves because we don't feel worthy of that righteous, the righteousness of that branch and, and, and fulfilling it. And I, I just, it, it, some things hit home with me and I, as he began to teach. I, I, just, I need your prayers this morning. Need to, I desire your prayers and covet them uh, this morning from the desire depths of our heart. Uh, but uh, you pray for us this morning that uh, we, uh, if we do that, be pleasing unto the Lord. But we've got this song on our heart, and I, I've heard this song all my life. Uh, and I, I sing, my wife, she gets after me sometimes, and because I'll, I'll sing one verse over and over because I can't remember the next yes, one. Uh, so we got the words this morning, uh, and uh, so we're going to try to try to get over there in it and sing this song, uh, and then get over in the Word of God and preach you the gospel and give you what the Lord's given us. Uh, but the song's Old Ship of Zion, so you pray for us. I was standing on the banks of a river looking out over life's troubled seas when I saw an old ship that was sailing is that the old
appreciate that, Brother Steve. Appreciate you helping us this morning. You'll be praying for us this morning. Uh, we'd like to send a broadcast out to those uh, this morning. I know that uh, there's some across the land today doing different things. Uh, and so you pray for us that uh, maybe next week we'll be able to come together uh, out in the parking lot and be able to sit together. We're just praying. Uh, I, I'm one to follow the leadership of the Lord, and I've not got liberty yet uh, to do these things. So I, I'm praying. Yes, uh, I feel that maybe next week we'll be all right. I, I just, uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just just waiting on the Lord. Yeah. Y'all know me. Yeah, I, I preach, and I, I do things from confirmation. Uh, I'm not one just to rashly uh, and quickly do things. And I apologize if it bothers you. Uh, I do, but I, I, want, I want it to be right. I want it to be the way the Lord has it to be. Uh, and, I, and that's the way I'll be. And that's the way I'll always be. Uh, I, don't pray, I pray the Lord no, I don't change. Uh, I don't change. The Lord won't change. But I pray I don't change. And I always yeah. continue uh, to trust in the Lord and pray on His, confir yes, on his confirmation uh, from heaven above. But uh, uh, if you got your Bibles this morning, St. Matthew chapter number uh, four, very familiar passage of scriptures. We got to come this way. I had a different thought this morning, but uh, uh, the Lord, the guy, as we got to sing that song, the Lord got to dealing with us on a few Bless things. You, and uh, so it's, it's like an old blue truck out there on 63. Uh, I'm just going to put it down in granite. I'm going to hold on and trust in the Lord. Uh, and I'm going to pray that I don't get ahead of that old truck. And that the Lord uh, let him just guide us this morning. I, I rode down the road yesterday. Uh, got there to the dump, put the thing up in granite, and just rode right up the hill. Uh, and that's the way I want to be this morning. I just want to ease on up the yes. hill and get there uh, where the Lord wants us to be. I don't want to get too fast. I don't want to get uh, over there too, too fast. And I say to ahead of myself, I just want to mind the Lord this morning. So, uh, if you got your Bible, St. Matthew chapter 4, and I'm going to try to tone it down this morning. I hear myself echoing uh, this morning. So, you pray for us this morning. Got some work going on in the church. And uh, so, as we got uh, there's some things going on that we can't get out there this morning. Uh, but you pray for us. Matthew chapter 4, we'll begin there uh, in the 18th verse and read down to the 22nd verse. Uh, the Bible said, And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, had, had saw two brethren, Simon called Peter, had, and Andrew his brother, had, had passing a net into the sea. Had, had, but they were fishers. Had, and he said unto them, had, had, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Had, had, and, straight, and they straightway left their nets had, and followed him. Had, had, and I'd like to draw your attention to these next two verses. Had, had, this is what we'd like to get to this morning. Had, had God doing the preaching. Had, had we just be the mouthpiece this morning. The Bible said, had, and going on from thence, had, he saw other two brethren, had, had James the son of Zebedee, had, and John his brother, had, in a ship with Zebedee their father, had, had mending their nets. Had, had listen to this word. Had, and this is what we'd like to. Had, and he called them. Had, and they immediately had, had left the ship had, had, and their father had, and followed him. Had, had let us pray. Had, had the most kind and gracious. Had, had, had the Lord follow, follow this one. Had, had come to the Lord's office. Had, 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 had followed the thing of heart for this opportunity. Had, had a bow behind one head. Had, a father under the once again. Had, a father with a thing of heart. Had, had, for this time you will allow us. Had, had a gathering in this place. Had, 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 Hey, that's a little different this morning. Hey, have a father I ask you. Hey, I go this place be different. Hey, have the feeling of the Holy Ghost. Hey, the power of the mind. Hey, have the demonstration. Hey, that father be no different. Hey, I would get father. Hey, that hearts and minds. Hey, I would be changed. Hey, a difference would be made. Hey, of course, everlasting would be made. Hey, we thank you, Father. Hey, I will teach him. Hey, of thy precious word. Hey, I thank you, Lord, for the man of God. Hey, who stood to teach the gospel. Hey, uh, Father, we ask you, hey, are uh, you continuing to know him? Hey, and Father, wrap him up. Hey, in your good grace and mercy. Hey, that Father, Lord, hey, as he continues to stand. Hey, that Father, you just throw the Lord afresh. Hey, each and every time he stands. Hey, uh, to teach the gospel. Hey, uh, Father, I ask you, hey, uh, for that one that's listening in this morning. Hey, that's lost and undone. Hey, that Father, Lord, you call him. Hey, that uh, Father, under salvation. Hey, uh, Father, that one that's listening. Hey, that's wayfaring. Hey, that's backslidden. Hey, that Father Lord this morning. Hey, of a broken heart. Hey, oh Lord, I pray. Hey, that you be able to let us. Hey, the Father utter thy words. Hey, of the meaning of that broken heart. Hey, the Father that one. Hey, 
I am the captive this morning. Hey, hey. Oh Lord, that went so deluded. Hey, oh, by the precious gospel. Hey, I'll oh, be this morning. Hey, oh Lord, we thank you. Hey, now for all that's already been done. Hey, I've been said this morning. Hey, the Father of thy spirit. Hey, the oh, yet we ask you. Hey, to oh, loose this body. Hey, hey, and move us out of the way. Hey, and follow your word. Hey, and be manifested. Hey, to the needs of this body. Hey, I would brought a great word. Hey, now by the demonstration. Hey, of the Holy Ghost. In Christ's name, on the last half, and on the new prayer, half, amen, half, and amen this morning, half, a friend of mine, half, a friend we know, half, I what scripture says, half, I write here, half, a friend we know, half, I was the Jesus, half, I was walking by, half, I was sea of Galilee, half, a friend saw these two men, half, a Simon, half, a Paul Peter, half, and Andrew his brother, half. Friend, they were hey, hey. just casting their nets. Hey, a friend of mine. Hey, are doing their own thing. Hey, a minding their own business. Hey, a friend of mine. Hey, a dear neighbor. Hey, how have you found yourself? Hey, are out there minding your own business. Hey, I just doing your own oh. thing. Hey, how did you heard? Hey, are you felt someone? Hey, are in the presence? Hey, are you heard someone? Hey, I call your name. Hey, a preacher. Hey, I Jesus don't speak like that. Hey. I beg to differ with you. I think I've been laying in the bed. And wait straight up. I think no. And it was Jesus. I call my name. I preach it was your wife. It was your children. I know sir. It was Jesus Christ. I think mean, it was the Spirit of God. I just moved over this body. I think in the mind. I believe it. I think mean, I know it. I understand it. This morning today. Yeah, uh, friend, I've been minding my own business. Uh, I've been working on the job. Uh, uh, I've been listening. Uh, and just feeling privy. <laughs> uh, of the room. Uh, I feel it on truck. Uh, I've been out drove. Uh, I've been miles and miles. Uh, I used to work down there in Atlanta. Uh, I like to stay. Uh, I've been out drive down that way. Uh, I've been out leave my house at 3.30 in the morning. Uh, I'm preaching. Uh, it's dark. Uh, it was cold many mornings. Uh, I've been to guess what? Hey, it was warm in my heart. Hey, I think it was light in my life. Hey, I think why? Hey, because Jesus. Hey, I think it was like he was doing right here. Hey, he was walking by the seaside. Hey, bless the Lord. Help call him my name. A friend this morning. Hey, a so dear neighbor. Hey, I think wherever you are this morning. Hey, as he calls out your name. Hey, a friend today. Hey. I ask that you have an answer to the call. I ask you have a dear bed and plead with you. Have you answer that call? Have you call? Have back to the Lord? Have the friends we sing that song? Have the old ship of Zion? Have as it sailed by that boat? Have a friend guess what? Have Jesus Christ? Have is the ship of Zion? Have happen he is? Have that righteous friends? Have have. And if we're to be, hey, I one of his, hey, and we gotta be, hey, a granted his, hey, out of that precious branch, hey, and we gotta step on board, hey, out of that old ship of Zion, hey, a preacher that's conflict, hey, of what the Bible says, hey, he said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock, hey, he said, He that opens up the door, hey, he said, I come in, hey, and sup with him, hey, no. and he with me, hey, I know that to be the truth, hey, of a friend of mine, hey, I for him to come into us. Hey, uh, we must first hey, uh, go into him today. Amen. Today, uh, as an old ship of Zion, hey, our friends, he stood by the seashore. Hey, our calling out names. Hey, our friend calling out. Hey, our friend Levin. Hey, a name Peter. Hey, our friend Simon Peter. Hey, a Valen. Hey, our friend named Andrew. Hey, our friend goes on down there. Hey, our friend goes. Hey, and they were in the water. Hey, and they'd already stepped off their boats. Hey, and they'd already made one step. Hey, toward the seashore. Yeah. Hey, our friend, they were casting in some shallow water. Hey, our friend. But there were some boys, hey, I friend that had not yet left, hey, of the ranks of mom and dad's house, hey, I they not left, hey, I friend the banks of home, hey, I friend they were there, hey, I've been in their nets, hey, I've been on the on the precious, hey, a ship with the dead, hey, I've been standing there side by side, hey, but don't you know, hey, that they had that old rope with that old ball of twine, hey, and they were mending their nets, hey, they were tying some knots, hey, I've been trying to get some. 
things ready. Hey, I put the next couch. Hey, I put the next drawer. Hey, I put the money. Hey, hey, you might be out there today. Hey, I'm trying to get ready. Hey, I put the next wave. Hey, I the next my friend battle. Hey, hey, you're about to face. Hey, I put the money. Hey, I would you this morning. Hey, I put as Jesus calls out your name. Hey, I put loose side of the waves. Hey, I loose side of the storm. Hey, I loose side of the ship. Hey, that you're on. Hey, and get on. Hey, the old ship on side. Hey, Amen. Thank you, Lord. Friend, this point, hey, I would you today. Hey, I find yourself in that place. Yeah. Hey, I find yourself like hey, hey, James and John. Hey, hey, friend, they, hey, hey, they pull the next in. Hey, a friend of mine. Hey, I dare say. Hey, I know, hey, in that day, hey, they didn't have gasoline, hey, they didn't have, hey, the other comforts, hey, of a combustion engine, hey, or some kind of winch, hey, I friend, most everything they done, hey, I was buzzed by, hey, of the strength of their arms, hey, they done it themselves, hey, I friend, listen, hey, of the book of James, hey, of chapter number, hey, of three, I believe it is, hey, and verse number four, hey, it says, hey, of the great ships, hey, are driven by fierce winds, hey, he said, yeah, hey, they're directed, hey, by a small, hey, a small little thing, hey, I bring that little road, hey, I bring that little other, hey, a road that's in the water, hey, I bring a driving ship, whichever direction, hey, although the winds blow, hey, I bring though the waves come, hey, all it takes is that still small voice, hey, I bring a line to there, hey, in the mouth of the cave, hey, I bring he wasn't going Hey, I wasn't in the earthquake. Hey, a God wasn't in the wind. Hey, a God wasn't in the fire. Hey, have a God come to an island. Hey, in a still small voice. Hey, how friend the man. Hey, how we're driven about. Hey, in this world. Hey, how friend by the fierce waves. Hey, and the fierce storm. Hey, how the winds of this world. Hey, how the friend we're driven. Hey, and friend our direction is guided. Hey, by the still small voice today. Friend of mine, hey, oh, that's still small boys. Hey, oh, ain't you glad? Hey, hey though we got some monstrous storms, hey, though we've got some monstrous waves, hey, how friend in the cares and the affairs, hey, of this old world, hey, how friend they sometimes, hey, I seem like the capsizes, hey, how friend we just can't do nothing, hey, of a standard and get soaked, hey, how by the waves of this world, hey, how a friend of mine, hey, how when the waves, hey, a friend when the, with the water, hey, I just dripping from our clothes, hey, I'm dripping from our lives, hey, how friend the wind just continuously, hey, a blowing, hey, how friend we can look toward the shore, hey, how friend and look out there, hey, how friend we can still hear that old captain, hey, as he called out our name, hey, I'll come get on board, hey, how the old ship was on, hey, he said for him never, hey, I'll pass this way again, hey, ain't you glad, hey, as you stepped on board, hey, how friend quit, hey, I'm trying to mend your own nets, hey, I quit trying to cast me on wrong. Hey, I friend one place over there. Hey, I friend listen. Hey, in Luke chapter, hey, a number five, I believe it is. Hey, I friend the Bible says, hey, I that Jesus, hey, I stepped out there. Hey, I friend the multitude of Christians are great. Hey, at the seashore, hey, he saw two ships. Hey, I bet the captains were gone. Hey, I washing their nets. Hey, I but he stepped on one. Hey, I love Simon's. Hey, and said, Simon, hey, I just cast out a little bit, hey, and I'll be able, hey, and I'll teach the people today. Bless you, Paul. Bring this morning, hey, uh, the old ship, hey, but uh, Jesus has stepped out there, hey, how can he stepped out there, hey, how uh, can listen, hey, how uh, he's calling out your name, hey, how can he's calling out your name, hey, how uh, will you answer, hey, how uh, will you answer the phone, hey, how will you cast your next down, hey, how will you cast the cares and the affairs of this life, hey, how will you cast them down, hey, as he's calling out your name, hey, how will you leave the ship, hey, of this old world, hey, and there's many ships, hey, I bring those little ones, hey, and there's big ones, hey, I bring theirs, hey, I bring motorless ones, hey, and the people have to roll by hand, hey, I still this day, hey, I bring those big yachts, hey, and they got GPS and robotics, hey, I bring that drive on whichever way they tap it in, hey, I bring, listen, hey, there's so many different things, hey, I'm 
if there's still just one a true and living God today. That's right. Bless him, Lord. There's still just one old ship of Zion. Huh? There's just one. Huh? Uh, but Steve got to talk about that one righteous. Uh, he's just, he's our righteous Lord. Uh, he's just one. Uh, uh, there's not two. Uh, uh, there's not three. Uh, uh, preacher, but there's a trinity. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, friend, there's God the Father, God the Son, uh, and God the Holy Ghost. Uh, uh, friend, but all three make up one God. Uh, uh, friend, listen. Uh, it's all just one. Uh, uh, you say, preacher, how is that? Uh, uh, well, uh, if you take the blood, uh, uh, you take an egg and you crack it and you separate those three pieces and what do you got? You got a shell and you got a yoke and you got the wine and friend they're all three different things and what do you call them when they're together? Are you call an egg today. Friend this morning oh there's just one God. I friend there's no different uh, thing in this world. Hey, uh, there's a lot of little ships. Hey, I don't know if it was Wednesday night hey, or last Sunday. I don't know. Hey, I got told about the China trip we made. Hey, I've been about 12, 13 years ago. Hey, I've been listening to you. Hey, I was down there. Hey, all those little shrines. Hey, I've got that God named Buddha. Hey, I've been over there. Hey, a Confucius. Hey, I've been to have all these little shrines. Hey, some were big. Hey, some were little. Hey, I've been, but guess Hey, my friend, that in the man, hey, of the God that I serve, hey, my friend, the man, hey, my friend, you know what, hey, there's other gods, hey, in this world that people worship, hey, my friend, there's only one, hey, a true, hey, and living God today. And he's still in call, he's still calling folks, hey. He's still calling folks to repentance. Sure. Huh? He's still calling folks unto salvation. Huh? Uh, he's still reaching out. Huh? How friend calling them from the ships of their life. Huh? How friend the Bible says, huh? uh, if we deny not ourselves, huh? uh, take up our cross huh? and follow him. How huh? uh, we cannot be his disciple. How huh? uh, we got to first hate ourselves. How huh? friend the love. How huh? uh, leave our mother and our father. How huh? uh, to follow the Lord. Huh? And that's what the Bible says right here. Uh, that James and John done. Uh, uh, the sons of Zebedee. Uh, uh, they left uh, uh, their father. Uh, uh, Zebedee. Uh, and my friend the account. Uh, according to Matthew Mark. Uh, uh, they, uh, it says uh, uh, that they left uh, uh, their father uh, and the hired servants. Uh, uh, friend, guess what? Uh, it wasn't just uh, uh, the sons and their daddy. Uh, there were some others on that boat. Uh, uh, friend, and they need to be uh, exactly Example under them men. I hey, uh, say, look at here. Hey, uh, this ain't always hey, uh, gonna be your life. Hey, uh, this ain't always gonna be here. Hey, uh, that man that just called us. Hey, uh, we gotta follow him. Hey, uh, cause one day hey, he's gonna call you. Hey, and to follow him. Hey, a uh, friend of mine. Hey, a uh, Christians. Hey, uh, we got to be an example. Hey, a uh, friend Timothy said, hey, uh, be that an example. Hey, uh, not just to the believers. Hey, only. Hey, uh, but to the world. Only. Also today, uh, friend of mine, uh, oh, uh, uh, the Bible said they, uh, uh, they got on down there after he called uh, uh, Peter and Andrew. Uh, the Bible says that he found their brethren. Uh, uh, they must have known each other. Uh, uh, they had some kind of relation. Because uh, they were there in the same little harbor, uh, uh, casting their nets, uh, uh, mending and washing their nets. Uh, uh, friend, they had some connection. Uh, uh, but you know what? Uh, uh, we all got a connection. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's that preaching? Uh, uh, we were all, uh, according to the book of Genesis, uh, uh, created in his yeah. image. Uh, I've been created uh, in the likeness uh, and the image uh, of God today. Right, We've all got a connection. Uh, a uh, friend of mine this morning. Hey, oh preacher. Hey, I'm not the same color as the next one. Hey, I will. Hey, hey, let me just tell you something. Hey, hey we still created in an image of God. Hey, our friend, you know what an image is? Hey, our friend, the image hey, is a silhouette. Hey, our friend, he didn't say. Hey, I was created in the same color. Hey, he said in the image. Hey, our friend today. Hey, our friend, so guess what? Hey, hey we got to stay hey, in that image this morning. <laughs> Friend today, huh? We're standing in that image, huh? Uh, friend, he's calling out. He's calling your name, huh? Uh, he's calling out your name, huh? Uh, say, come, huh? And follow me, huh? Uh, friend, listen, huh? 
how you may be a fisherman. Hey, how you may be. Hey, how friend, guess what? Hey, how my daddy's a carpenter. Hey, how friend, he's been a carpenter all my life. Hey, how friend, they Hey, how building houses. Hey, how many old houses. Hey, how friend, but guess what? Hey, how friend, March the 29, 1997. Hey, how Christ called unto this old boy. Hey, and said, son. Hey, he said, I know you follow your daddy's footsteps. Hey, he said, I know that you build houses. Hey, I know you like to work on them. Hey, but let me just take Hey, and let you help work on hey, our folks' lives today. Amen. Bless you, man. And this morning, hey, oh, the preacher, I'm a plumber. Hey, I got to make sure folks' waters are working. Hey, oh, well, let me tell you something about a plumber. Hey, how can you ain't just got to be a fisherman, a man? Hey, how can you work on the run? Hey, on the water? Hey, I make sure that the water's still flowing. Hey, oh. I bring freedom. Hey, yeah. there's no clogs. Hey, in folks' lives. Hey, I bring listen. Hey, Hey, I don't turn him away if he calls you again. Hey, 
I pray when he goes down to the end of that little story hey, and turns around hey, <coughs> and he gets back down there hey, up to where you may be hey, a friend of mine hey, and he calls out your name hey, uh, don't turn him away hey, uh, don't turn him away hey, if he calls you again hey, uh, you run to the shore hey, and wrap your arms around his legs uh -huh. hey, uh, bow out his hand and his feet hey, I pray and just call out his name hey, and find yourself like Peter was hey, I said I'm a sinful man today friend this morning huh, cause you disobeyed the first time huh Oh, Peter disobeyed. Huh? Uh, friend, that first time. Huh? Uh, Peter did. Huh? He said, Master, we've caught all the night. Huh? Uh, what did that old song say? We cast her, we fished all night long. Huh? And caught no fishes. Huh? Uh, a friend of mine. Huh? Uh, would you this morning for several nights too late? Huh? Uh, call upon the name of the Lord. Huh? Uh, we love you this morning. Huh? Uh, we appreciate this opportunity to be able to stand. Huh? And until next time, may God bless you as our prayer. Bless you,